How did the research with these different style of couples, the avoidant, the volatile, the validating, guess what Gottman and his PhD students found out? Grandma could have done this research without a university grant, but here's the deal that they found out. They would put a couple in comfortable chairs, and these are great stools, but I mean, they'd get you really cushy, comfortable chairs like in your living room, and they'd hook up data uh, receptors like they do in a lie detector test, like your respiration, your heart rate, your perspiration in your hands, the galvanic skin response. They would collect data uh, about what's happening physiologically with you. And then they would video record you, videotape back in the day, and doctoral students would watch every moment of this tape, and they would be looking at body language, they'd be looking at that kind look, or they'd be looking at that, you know, compassionate sound in your voice, or they'd be looking at good eye contact between each other. And, and out of this, they would call those positive moments versus or, you know, kind of thing. And what they noticed if there were, there was a ratio of one negative moment to a ratio of five positive moments, no matter whether you were a volatile, validating, or avoidant couple, if you would keep that ratio of negative to positive, five to one, that you could have then a healthy marriage. And they actually tracked these couples over a number of years. And the couples who had the five to one ratio in this positive manner, they were successfully married three, five years later, whenever the study ended. But the couples where the negative either outweighed the positive or was not nearly as prominent, where there were fewer positive comments, more negative, those couples had a very high High divorce, divorce rate. They could predict it over 90%. They could predict out of just what you, what they watched in the video about verbal and nonverbal cues, positive, negative moments, they could determine which couples were gonna divorce. Hmm, that's scary. So what we wanna do in this one to five ratio is we wanna have a secure attachment with one another. And that gets into this newest, latest research that if we are assured of our lifelong love as our logo is through all times, at all times, if we have that sense of secure attachment with one another, the chances are very good we're going to do this positive five to one ratio. Well, as we look at uh, the research um, a little bit further, uh, we've got to have this style, and I don't know if you've ever heard anybody quote this research, but it, it, it gets misquoted as in, okay, you messed up, so you bring roses home or something special to your spouse five times. Well, that's nice and nothing wrong with bringing a, a flower or flowers or something that you know your spouse likes when you've messed up. However, it is much more subtle. It's more those daily things, those connections, those things that say, I appreciate you. I'm, I'm glad you're a part of my life. I love watching you with our children. Just positive, reinforcing things. It doesn't have to be a bouquet of flowers. That also, for those of us who uh, tend to be um, not stingy with our money, but very careful so with our money. It doesn't have to cost you anything to have a really good positive moment. And remember back to when you were dating? You could just look into one another's eyes. And it could be very positive. And you just would have to not even say words. Or you could look across each other across a crowded room and you just tilt your head a little bit. And it just communicates, I noticed you. I love you. So, for a happy marriage, we want to keep our attachment strong with our spouse and doing these positive moments.